AI is about to hit a wall. And when it does, quantum computing will become the most powerful technology in human history. I've been saying this for months while everyone else was losing their minds over ChatGPT. And now the evidence is stacking up so fast that even the skeptics can't ignore it anymore. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. Work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Let's start with the brutal truth about AI that nobody wants to admit. AI is hitting its ceiling, and that ceiling is called power. Every AI breakthrough requires exponentially more computational power, more data centers, more electricity, more physical infrastructure, we're talking about energy consumption that could power entire cities just to train a single model. OpenAI's Sam Altman has already said we need breakthroughs in energy production just to keep AI advancing. Think about that. The entire AI revolution is bottlenecked by electricity. But quantum, quantum operates on a completely different paradigm. Here's what the tech journalists won't tell you, because most of them don't understand it themselves. There's an old saying, you can either explain quantum accurately or in a way people understand, but you can't do both. Well, I'm about to do both because this is too important for you not to get it. Quantum computing doesn't just think faster, it thinks differently. While classical computers, including AI, process information sequentially, even when doing it really fast, quantum computers access multiple states simultaneously. They don't calculate through problems. They exist in all possible solutions at once, then collapse into the right answer. Google's Willow chip just proved this. Five minutes to solve what would take our fastest supercomputers. 10 septillion years. That's 10 with 24 zeros after it. Not 10 times faster, not 1,000 times faster, 10 septillion times faster. AI can't compete with that. AI will never compete with that because AI is still bound by the laws of classical physics. And here's where it gets really interesting. Right now, there are only about 200 quantum computers in the entire world. China has an unknown number they won't disclose, which should tell you everything about how valuable they consider this technology. The quantum sector could be worth $97 billion by 2035. Meanwhile, AI is forecast in the trillions. But here's the thing, that AI forecast assumes it can keep scaling, and it can't not without quantum, one of the top quantum experts, Rajib Hazra from Quantinuum, just said it openly. The area of quantum computing is, in my mind, when you look at the applications as big, if not bigger than AI. And Professor Sir Peter Knight, one of the UK's leading quantum scientists, put it even more dramatically. Things that could take the age of the universe to calculate, even on the most powerful supercomputer, could be performed probably in seconds. Age of the universe, in seconds. That's not an improvement on AI. That's a complete paradigm shift. Now let me show you why AI needs quantum to survive. AI's current architecture requires massive amounts of training data, enormous computational power, and increasingly complex algorithms just to make incremental improvements. It's hitting diminishing returns. Each breakthrough requires exponentially more resources than the last one. But quantum computing can process that same information in fundamentally different ways. Instead of training on billions of data points sequentially, quantum computers can evaluate all possible patterns simultaneously. When you combine quantum computing with AI, what researchers call quantum machine learning, you don't just get faster AI. You get AI that can solve problems that are currently impossible. Here's what that actually means in the real world. 
Drug discovery. Right now, it takes 10 to 15 years and billions of dollars to develop a new drug. Why? Because there are nearly infinite combinations of molecules to test. Quantum computers can simulate all of those combinations simultaneously. We're talking about personalized medicine, drugs designed specifically for your body's chemistry, becoming routine instead of science fiction. Climate modeling. Current climate models require massive simplifications because we can't process all the variables. Quantum computers can model entire weather systems with unprecedented accuracy, giving us decades of advance warning on climate patterns. Financial modeling. Every investment bank is racing to build quantum capabilities because quantum computers can process all market variables simultaneously, finding patterns and opportunities that are literally invisible to classical computing. Energy optimization. The national grid is investing in quantum research to solve what's known as load shedding, balancing thousands of energy sources in real time to prevent blackouts. This becomes exponentially more complex with renewable energy. Quantum solves it effortlessly. Logistics and supply chain. Airbus is using quantum algorithms to optimize cargo loading. Why? because an aircraft uses thousands of kilos of extra fuel if its center of gravity shifts by even small amounts, quantum can calculate perfect optimization across thousands of variables instantly. But here's the dark side nobody's talking about openly. Q-Day. That's what they're calling the moment when quantum computers become powerful enough to break all current encryption. Every password, every secret, every encrypted message you've ever sent, everything stored behind digital locks, which is basically everything, becomes accessible. And it's coming. Experts estimate around 2030. China is already engaging in what's called harvest now, decrypt later, stealing encrypted data right now and storing it, knowing they'll be able to crack it open in a few years. One former UK intelligence official said it's credible that almost all UK citizens will have had data compromised. Stolen, stockpiled, waiting for Q-Day. This isn't theoretical. Apple and Signal have already rolled out post-quantum encryption, but it can't be applied retroactively to data that's already encrypted the old way. Which means everything you've done digitally up until now? it's potentially accessible once quantum computers reach sufficient power. So here's why quantum will eclipse AI. First, AI runs out of power. Quantum doesn't. AI needs exponentially more energy to keep advancing. Quantum operates on principles that allow it to solve exponentially harder problems without exponentially more resources. Second, AI is software. Quantum is hardware that enables impossible software. AI will always be limited by the computational substrate it runs on. Quantum is the substrate. It's not an upgrade to the computer. It's a fundamental reimagining of what computation means. Third, AI optimizes what exists. Quantum discovers what doesn't exist yet. AI is pattern recognition on steroids. It finds patterns in existing data. Quantum can simulate realities that have never existed, testing molecules that have never been created, solving problems that have never been articulated. Fourth, the convergence is inevitable. And when it happens, quantum wins. Eventually, AI will run on quantum computers. Quantum AI will make current AI look like a calculator. And at that point, the quantum infrastructure becomes the most valuable technology on Earth. Now, here's what you need to understand about timing. We're at the exact inflection point where smart money is moving from AI hype to quantum reality. Quantum stocks got hammered recently. Some analysts predicted drops up to 62%. You know what that means? The hype cycle is clearing out. The tourists are leaving and the real builders are getting discounts. This is exactly what happened with AI. Before the chat GPT moment, everyone thought it was overhyped. Then suddenly it wasn't. The difference is quantum's ceiling is exponentially higher than AI's ceiling will ever be. AI will plateau when it hits energy constraints and computational limits. 
Quantum's Plateau is solving problems that take longer than the age of the universe using classical methods. There's no comparison. Here's what the next five years look like. 2025 to 2026, quantum sensors become mainstream. We're already seeing them in brain scanning technology that works on children who can't stay still. Something that was impossible before. Quantum compasses that work underground where GPS fails. Atomic clocks accurate to billionths of a second. 2027 to 2028, quantum computing reaches practical applications in drug discovery, financial modeling, and cryptography. The first major pharmaceutical breakthroughs using quantum simulation are announced. 2029 to 2030, QDay arrives. The encryption apocalypse forces a complete rebuild of global digital security. Every company that didn't prepare goes into crisis mode. Quantum becomes mandatory infrastructure, not optional innovation. 2030 and beyond, quantum AI emerges. Machine learning running on quantum substrates solves problems we currently can't even formulate. This is when everything changes. And here's something most people don't realize. These machines operate at temperatures near absolute zero using synthetic diamonds and lasers in conditions so fragile that even light disrupts them. Elon Musk said they'd work best in the permanently shadowed craters of the moon. He's not joking. We're building technology that literally cannot function in normal reality. It requires conditions that don't naturally exist on Earth. So will quantum be bigger than AI? It's not even a question. AI will be seen as the warm-up act, the thing that got us comfortable with machine intelligence so we'd be ready for what comes next. Quantum is what comes next. And when quantum-powered AI emerges, when machine learning runs on substrates that can access all possibilities simultaneously, we're not talking about better technology. We're talking about technology that can think in ways that human minds literally cannot comprehend. That can solve problems we don't have the cognitive capacity to even understand exist. Here's my prediction. By 2030, the most valuable companies in the world won't be the ones with the best AI. They'll be the ones with quantum infrastructure. The companies building the quantum sensors, the quantum networks, the quantum resistant encryption, the quantum simulation platforms, those are the ones that will define the next century. AI will be ubiquitous. Quantum will be dominant. And here's what you need to do about it. Stop thinking about AI as the end game. It's not. It's middleware. It's the technology that bridges where we are to where we're going. Start learning about quantum now. Understand the principles, follow the companies, track the breakthroughs, because the people who understand quantum's implications before the mainstream catches up, they're going to build the future everyone else lives in. The question isn't whether quantum will eclipse AI, the question is, will you be positioned for it when it does? I'd love for you to hit subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these changes. Don't miss out. Let's embrace this quantum age together. The AI age is ending before most people realized it began. The quantum age is already here. Most people just don't have the framework to see it yet. Now you do. See you down the next rabbit hole. End. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses. 
including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.